Hello, welcome back to a small terrible channel. Once again, this is Mama Asenho. So yesterday and the other day, we're done discussing about module 1 and module 2. Today, we'll have module 3. Bago tayo magsimula, um, sasabihin ko sa inyo na until module 5 po tayo at pagkatapos ng module 5, kung na na nunood kayo until module 5 simula sa module 1 ibibigay ko sa inyo for free itong soft copy nito okay so thank you so much sa pagsusubaybay palagi sa akin sa ngayon module 3 na tayo so ito lang full view ang ating gagamitin kasi kapag this top screen medyo medyo maliit may May mga kasamahan akong nagre-reklamo kasi hindi daw masyado makikita. Okay? So, ito lang full view tayo. Okay. So, sa module 3, our topic is pure substances and mixtures. Kasi sa MELC or sa most essential learning competency, nandun ay distinguished mixtures from substances based on a set of properties. So, ang target, ang, ang module na ito ay... Um, you will learn to distinguish mixtures from substances based on a set of properties. At again, may tatlo tayong target. At the end of this module, you distinguish pure substances from mixtures, list the examples of pure substances and mixtures, and show willingness to classify matter as pure substances or pure substance and mixture. And we have the unlocking of difficulties. Homogeneous mixture. What is homogeneous mixture? What is heterogeneous mixture? What is density? What is What do we mean by physically combined? All right? Then we have our pre-test, okay, or the pre-assessment, so checking of the background or the, the for uh, the prior knowledge of the students, okay. Okay, so there's already the answer key, for example, I'll just take whatever I want to hear without reading, so just to illustrate to you how to, okay, so... I, I said that the passing score is 3, so if you got 2, you are going to uh, be marked there to uh, fail. Alright, then next page, we have the do this. So this is a very interactive activity that the student will really like. Okay, so this is called hangman activity. So kapag na... na Guess correctly nila ang word na tinutukoy nito, uh, na pure substance, mag one point tayo dito sa smiley. Kapag hindi naman, itong sad face naman ang mag one point. Okay, subukan natin. Okay. Okay, salt. So, salt the is a pure substance. Mag, uh, ang bata na maka, ano nito, is, sasabihin niya sa sarili niya, ah, pure substance pala ang salt. The next word. Very obvious na ni para sa atin. Pero sa mga bata, I don't know. Alright. Susubukan natin magkamali. Anong mangyayari? So, yan ang mangyayari kapag maraming try tayo. Bigyan tayo ng maraming try. Bigyan, okay, too bad. Okay, then one point and sad face. So, okay na tayo dyan? Okay, so i-x lang natin. At ito naman sa mixtures, hangman pa rin. Okay, so the following are mixtures. Ano kaya? So, unahin natin ng A, E, I. So, may I. Ano kaya ito? O. Ano kaya yan? Even ako nakalimutan ko. Kahit ako ang gumagawa. <laughs> ano kaya yan? <laughs> ah, malapit na tayo. Ah, okay. Parang ito. Oh, ang milk. Sasabihin ng bata, ah, mixture pala ang milk. Oo, mixture ang milk. Under siya sa... Saan siya under? May dalawang klase kasi ang mixture. May homogeneous, may heterogene heterogeneous. Okay? So, yan. Ang ganda ng ating activities. Hindi mapuboard ang mga bata nito. Napaka-interactive. Next. We have the explore part. Okay? So, all you have to do is you click on the picture and explain each. So, you are going to explain yourself na. Ang mga bata na mag-explain nga nung na mixture ang milk. Milk is a mixture. Why is it? Okay? 
Then we have sugar. Why is it? It's a pure substance. Gatorade. It's a mixture. Why? Okay. 14K gold mixture. So they are going to look for the answer about this. Why is it a pure substance? Why are they uh, like that? Okay. Then let's proceed to the next page. We have to keep this in mind. So this part is the discussion portion of our module. So the important, important points are in here. What is matter? What is a mixture? What is a pure substance? What, what are the examples of mixtures? What are the examples of pure substance? All are in here. Alright, then sinasabi din dito ang dalawang uri ng mixture, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous. And we have the pure substance can be element or compound. Okay, so napaka kung ako ang estudyante ngayon at binibigyan ako nito, wow, perfect na ako kapag mag-exam na si ma'am. Next, apply what you have learned. So, the task is fit me in. So, ano kaya ito? Bakit fit me in? I-click lang nila ang picture. Ah, I forgot it, guys, to delete, clear this. I should have cleared this before I, I presented this to you. Because if I am going to clear it, it will look like this. And the student will have to arrange this. Okay, this is a jigsaw puzzle. Kaya pala sinasabing fit me in. Kaya, kasi, ito ay isang jigsaw puzzle. And again, ang mga estudyante ay ma ma ma, ma amuse nito ma ano sila malilibang sila no malilibang sila sa while learning at the same time they are enjoying am i correct saan kaya yo Aha, hindi yan. For sure. Parang ito. Ito ang tama. So, ang mga estudyante na gustong maglalaro while nag, ano, nag-i-study, talagang ma magagandahan sila sa mga ganitong activity. Parang hindi. Parang may mali. Ano sa tingin ninyo, guys? Hopefully, tama na ito. Parang may mali talaga. Nakikita nyo ba, guys? Parang may mali, no? Cheren! Congratulations! So, kapag tama ay sasabihin sa iyo na congratulations. Okay? The next page. Ha? Fill me in. So, ito, ah, uh, Si, sinulat ko lang ng ganyan. Anyway, may answer ki naman sa unahan. No? So, matter can be broken down into two categories. So, ang bata, kung hindi niya alam, oh, pwedeng puntahan niyo muna ang ano, answer ki. No? Puntahan niya muna ang answer ki. Ah, pure substance pala at sya, aka, ano. Sa reflect. No? Sa reflect. To pure substance and mixture. Okay? Then, we have the evaluation part our favorite portion if the students really learn about the module about the pure substance and the mixture for example this one comes as some homogeneous mixture say for example we're going to answer pure water compound which of the following is a compound okay so for example let's just do Single type of atom. Anyway, I did not read number three and number four. <laughs> All right, we failed. All right, so there are highlighted. Um, uh oh, 
because pure water is not a mixture i did not read well the the question so the student will will uh, say like that okay then we have mm, so they are going to realize the correct answer later on after they answered then that we have the glossary, the pure substance. It can be elements on our compound, mixtures. It could be um, homogeneous or heterogeneous mixture. Then we have the answer key part, then the references. And tomorrow we'll have module 4 solutions hopefully so so bye bye yan paninyo ako and don't forget to comment on um each of the module so sa module 1 may dalawa na ako may dalawa tayong part may part 1 at part 2 mag comment lang kayo doon kasi inilista ko ang mga uh, mga email ad ninyo Inilista ko, nagsusurvey ako sa module 1, module 2, module 3, itong module 3, and itong module 4 at module 5. Ang nakakomplete niyan ay bibigyan ko ng soft copy nitong ebook natin. Okay? So, thank you so much. Yan lang po ang hinihingi ko sa inyo. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.